Kahnawake Justice Services is working on developing its own Victims of Crime program in the community to provide assistance for victims who are going through the justice system. Yadzahaya Tanya Para, who holds the portfolio, provides an update on developing works. Right now the project is in uh, phase two, uh, which is um, the uh, research component, uh, development of policies and guidelines, but it also uh, has an awareness uh, component. So there will be the uh, educational piece which uh, will be uh, four uh, workshops that will be uh, presented. So uh, this project, uh, as I said, is to eventually have our own Victims of Crime program in the community. And it is a, a very important uh, program and resource uh, that is much needed. I know a lot of people um, that are involved in the court system, you know, often feel alone, not sure of the process. They are often looking for answers and um, right now they have to rely on outside services. So this, uh, this program, when it's in place, uh, it will allow for uh, people to um, seek the uh, support through the uh, Victims of Crime uh, office. And uh, that office will provide um, referral services, as I said, support may even provide accompanying to um, court and uh, also uh, explain, you know, the whole justice system from beginning to end for those that uh, have their first encounter with it. Just to be clear so that everybody has a better understanding of what the Victims of Crime um, program slash services are and how they differ from Alternative Dispute Resolution, which many people know as ADR. ADR actually uh, provides you with a forum to resolve your disputes. So a way for two people that, um, both consent, voluntarily submit their dispute for resolution outside of the court. The Victims of Crime Service is actually a service to provide support, assistance, referrals, um, accompaniment to a victim of crime. They do not exist um, mutually exclusive of one another. Um, obviously, a victim of crime could decide that they would like to resolve the matter through ADR but that is not necessarily the case. So anyone who is going to, uh, to court, and usually victims are more um, related to criminal offenses, of course, but there, there are other forms of victimization which will be seen in the um, workshop. But if I use the criminal court context, a victim of a crime would normally be going to court and so, um, so that they're not alone, the Victims of Crime Service is there to provide them with all of that, whereas ADR, as I said, is, is more of a, way of resolving a dispute and not so much of a support service. So I think that the um, workshop that's taking place will uh, be very valuable in terms of information. Uh, a lot of people also don't really understand what their rights are as victims and so it's very important uh, to have that, ver that, that knowledge first and foremost. Uh, for those who would like to register uh, for uh, the workshop, you can do so at Justice registration at mck.ca uh, and the uh, workshop will be on Zoom.